What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Strange and Unusual Podcast. Today we're going to be talking all things Midsummer Scream. I'm one half your host, Anthony, with me today in full on makeup, the haze mare herself. Hi. With uh, your new little uh, plushie that I got you at the convention. Penny. Pennywise. Uh, we're going to talk all things Midsummer Scream. We just literally got home from there about an hour ago, and uh, we had a great weekend. A lot of panels, a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, Hall of Shadows was great. Um, what else? The, the show floor was awesome. Uh, and, the, and the people and the memories. That, that was the best part for our weekend. So, uh, yeah, Friday, we, we started off, and uh, we hit that show floor hard and deep. Same with the, uh, the Hall of Shadows. Uh, what did you like most about the Hall of Shadows this year? Um, I want to say it was Santa Ana Haunt. They got me. They got you? Yeah, and then today doing the mystery, uh, Winchester Mystery House. Sorry, I'm just adjusting your mic because it's a little bit blocking your face. I want your face shown. <laughs> the Winchester Mystery House. That one got me pretty good. I yeah. was not, uh, I think that's like the first or second time an air cannon's got me. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, those, those air cannons were pretty brutal i'll be honest with you and then there was uh i want to say there was one scare actor in there that actually like you got me you got me to uh to jump i, I want to say it was right after the picture probably or something like that because it wasn't in the picture was it the the scene where we went into like the kind of like water area uh i don't know it's kind of all of the oh. green lasers oh yeah she she kind of sort of got me but uh there was that wall so i was like i don't know what's happening here <laughs> uh it was great uh she was she was really good at her job uh, I kind of expected her to keep popping up, though. Yeah. So, th but uh, the person that did get me was before that. Gotcha. Uh, and I did give him a good job, so. He, I did. I did they, hear the good jobs. Yeah, so that's who that was. Yeah. The, the very first good job, that was the one that got me. I have to say, out of this whole weekend, I think my favorite walkthrough, and I'm not being biased or anything. I, I, I know I've known Twilight these, Zone? Yeah, the Twilight Zone. Dress Twilight Zone was awesome. Twilight Zone. I mean, the fact that they, they brought it all into black and white. Mind you... Every walkthrough that we did in the Hall of Shadows was fucking terrific. It was. Yes. Like there were, I, I, I was not disappointed in one this year. Um, the all dark one, that one was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. what was it? It was like um, something in the dark or something like that. Scream in the dark? Scream in the dark, yeah. That one was cool because like, it was um, fun. you know, it made me kind of think back to like when we went to Rain of Terror for the blackout night. Yes. You couldn't see nothing. But, like, we didn't have a light for this round, so I can't wait to put up that. All right, if you guys have been watching the channel, you guys probably saw all of our Midsummer Scream coverage. Um, but I know there was one walkthrough I think we did with the Hall of Shadows with Scary Cat Vasquez where we, where he just, it was just wild. Um, I, I know, was not I know, there for that. I know our, well, I think our walkthrough was pretty wild, too, because I think that was, like, one of the only times I went in there with you. So, um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. We had a good time on that one. That was cool. Um but yeah, Hall of Shadows was great. I, I, I feel a little sad this year, though, because I didn't get to catch a Decayed show. Yeah. Um, Somehow I, I always miss those. But I think Sammy caught one. That's good. So we'll be a, hopefully we'll be, we got some footage of that and we'll put it on the channel as well. Um, but I feel really bad. And I know I, we were just so fucking busy this weekend with panels, especially Saturday and Sunday. Very uh, busy. Today, uh, specific, man, it was just like we got out of one... And I had to get in line for another. Then I had to get in line for definitely the Horror Nights one. I mean, it was just, it was wild today. But you know what? It was, it was a great weekend. I mean, I got to meet um, Harvey Gian from um, What We Do in the Shadows. Yeah, I know you were looking forward to that. Yeah, I don't have it with me, but he signed my Funko Pop. I actually got a, a selfie with him that's actually on our Instagram right now. You can check that out. We've seen a, a Nandor at the yeah. Midsummer. We had that some was what, interesting. I didn't expect that. What We Do in the Shadows. That. Yeah, it was, it was a good, good, some good cosplays this weekend, too. Amazing uh, the cosplays, cosplays were yeah. great. Um, and it always makes me so happy because I know, like, with you dressing up and everything, it's like it's a whole community. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. I love dressing up. I love the interactions. Yeah, we had a, we had a good week. I mean, the show floor there was a lot of goodies out there. We I know we picked up a lot of stuff. Um, just to, just a couple of the things that I got this myself this weekend. A little Megadeth mask right here. This is a Rattlehead. I know you've seen it too. But yes, it's such a good mask. Um, this and it is fits the, you well. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good size mask too. Um, so we might be doing some cosplay work with that. Uh, Hayes noticed this really cool shirt and showed it to me. It was like the Mount Rushmore. 
kind of effect. You remember that one? <laughs> yeah. Mount Rushmore of like the the slashers, even though the guy that's supposed to be Michael Myers doesn't look like Michael Myers. It kind of looks like Michael Ham Lincoln. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got my coworker a shirt. He's a big Scream fan, so I told him I'd pick him up something. Um, I bought some Misfit socks. Uh, they had some socks that were really cool. I know you uh, really dig in the purple vibe of those ones. You know, purple and purple and green. Those are my colors. Yep. Uh, number are. one colors, at least. And uh, one of the other things I bought for myself was this Ronnie James Dio Funko Pop. Um, I just looked. I bought it for twenty five. It's already on. It's already going for twenty nine. So, got a pretty good deal on that one. Um, but you know what? I mean, I, and you got a lot of good stuff. I know you got that plush. You got that. You got that makeup set, which you're actually using right. You. That's the makeup you're using at the moment. Yes, um, I did use alcohol base for the first time. What do you think between? Because you usually use water base. I do. It's, it's easier to to get off of your skin after a long day, especially when you just go in the shower and stuff. How yeah. do you How do you feel with the alcohol based stuff this time? Um, the alcohol base feels a lot thinner, and I'm really happy that like you can actually see the midsummer scream that I've been doing all weekend, and it didn't rub off today. Right. So that's really nice. Um, but we'll see how hard it's going to be to get off. Yeah. I did buy the remover though. Just in case uh, I didn't want to sit there and just be scrubbing at my skin all day. Because yeah. I know in the past, uh, shout out to Jerry, Jerry Jones. Uh, she used to do my makeup here and there. And she did use, uh, I think it was a mix between alcohol base and water base. Okay. So it was like a 50 50 uh, type mixture. Yeah. And it, that was kind of difficult to get off sometimes, but not too difficult. So we'll see how pure alcohol base goes. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, we had a great weekend. We were out in Long Beach all weekend, and uh, Saturday really kicked off big time for us. Yeah. Uh, Friday was more of our just kind of browse the show floor, browse the Hall of Shadows, do all that. That was the first year this year they actually had the Hall of Shadows. Um, and shout out to the uh, the White Bats this weekend. Uh, they were all the, the helpers you saw in the orange T-shirts that were guiding lines, getting people through the doors. Yes. Um, any, you know, any information you needed, they were there to help you. They were walking around the convention center. Um they, I think this year they did a really good job of getting people in the doors and into the convention really quick this time. Um, the Thursday badge pickup and the ticket pickup was, a, I think, a very smart idea because I feel like a lot of people took advantage of that so they can just get everyone in. Yeah, um, I know you took advantage of that. I did, yeah. We busted a mission, got out there to get our passes. Um, but I know that also uh, security this year were on top of it. They were they were outstanding. They're really good. Yeah. Outstanding, very nice people. I never had any issues with security. I was very compliant with them if they needed to check my bags. Uh, but they were very they were very on top of it this year. And I and I and I, I have to say, Midsummer Scream is one company that listens to the fans big time. Definitely. You know, I mean, last year the issue was the fucking line was wrapped around the building. Yeah. And this year they they made sure they get everyone in. And you know what? Like, outside of Saturday. It, there were some moments where, like, there was crowds, but it didn't feel too crowded. You know what I mean? It felt breathable, at least. Yes. Saturday, the only time I felt really, like, crowded was uh, probably, like, in the show floor. Right. And that's just because I, f I feel like people just see people go in one direction, and they all just go in that one direction instead of deciding on where they want to go instead. Yeah, 100%. I mean, so, that's, you know, I think that's happened to a lot. It felt like it happened to a lot us a lot this weekend. Like, Yeah, we were, I always try to look for those openings. I'm like the least crowded area that's where i want to go i know I, i'm starting to get i'm starting to get a little bit better to know when like you kind of feel in that position of like okay i'm gonna feel a little claustrophobic i'm gonna yeah because like i love being able to interact with people when it's so crowded like there's i i definitely i just i feel bad because then we're taking up space in the aisles and there's vendors and we're taking up their potential sales and yeah you know i i did a way back when i, I was doing the the farmer's market you remember uh, i told you about that yeah so i remember how that could be you know if people are just standing there kind of blocking your booth so i try not to do that to others yeah speaking of vendors man i mean vendor there we had, we had a lot of good ones uh we, i know we bought from like i said danny spooky treats uh we always we love buy from danny them. spooky treats we, we finally got some ghoulish gushers i know a lot of the events we go to she's that's her number one seller they, they sell it quick and that's your number one want yeah that's always my number one want i'm a big gushers guy uh, i was a gushers kid growing up so as an adult, I love them even more. I'm excited. Um, I got my energy drink. You got your energy drinks. Yeah, we, 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 we both, we bought four energy, five mm -hmm. energy drinks this weekend. Um, so I was glad that we had our energy drinks going. Um, I there mean, was a lot of returning vendors, though. Yeah. Um, We'd love to see, I at least me, I would love to see some new faces, some new stuffs. 
Yeah, I mean, no disrespect to any of the vendors there. No, because you know? they're like, all amazing. Yeah, they are. But at least for me, I don't want to just have a collection of all the same things. Yeah, you want to see creatively where people are at to, you know what I mean? Like, you want different things from different people. Yeah, and at least for myself, you know, I don't have my own house yet, so... Like, I've bought so much art over the years and so many different, like, little collectibles and stuff like that. It's just, um, it's kind of hard to choose stuff to buy right now because I, I really like unique things that catch my eye. And it's just hard to, to find homes to display everything. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's one of those things that, Like you all know, your pops. Yeah. I know. Your lovely wall of pops. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hate me when we move in. No, I'm know. not. I'm gonna love it, actually. I hope so. But you, I, and I've already, I think we've had this discussion already of how anal I am of specific areas where they need to go. But yeah, that's gonna be cool. I mean, we'll figure it out. We will. Make, Obviously, all the horror pops we'll probably put on the set for Nights of Horror just to have those. Yeah, we can make little acrylic walls. Yeah, all my video game and like nerd pops I'll have as like my <laughs> streaming background. You know. Yeah. We'll MCU. figure it out. We'll have an MCU shelf, a DC shelf. And then eventually you'll have to do a, a Knights of Horror Cribs edition. <laughs> yeah, Knights of Horror Cribs. Hey, what's up? I'm Knights of Horror. Welcome to my crib. Uh, check out my my house museum. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, let's talk about some of these panels, man. I mean, we kicked off the weekend with uh, Slider Dynamics. Yes. Um, well, that, well, I missed that, sadly. Yeah, I caught half of it. I was, um, I was pretty upset, honestly, that I get there so late. Um, taking my, doing my makeup still takes me a while unfortunately yeah. so that's why i'm always trying to upgrade my makeup trying i love doing new looks i don't like doing the same thing day after day after day so get creative I, with it yeah i always try to switch it up but it, it's taking me too long so maybe i'll have to figure out a look that's just like a standard look so i can get that down right. and get it pretty quick because i hate that i get to these things late I, I'm always, almost always like an hour, an hour and a half late to these. And then, yeah, I super wanted to be there for Slider Dynamics panel. And then I missed it. And, yeah. It's all right. We got it on YouTube now. So yeah, I'm definitely going to watch, be watching that. You can watch all the panels. Uh, we, we, we recorded a, a lot more than we thought we were going to record, which is good. I always love overloading you guys with content. That way you guys, because I know exactly as it is as a person to, like, scroll on YouTube and like you have nothing to watch. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I try to like to, uh, you know, especially around haunt season, we really like to overload you guys with content. That way, if you can't make it to any of these things, because I know, you know, money is of, of an issue these days, uh, especially in Southern California. Yeah. Um, so if you can't make it, we want to give you the best experience at home to experience it. Um, that way, at least you could see it. Um, and, and then next year, I want to do more questions, like random questions. I did do one. And, you know, hopefully you'll find that in the footage. I, I, I want to, what I want to do next year is I want to team up with Manny and Marlene and do something like that. Because yeah. they're so, they got that formula down so well. Yes. And that, I feel like that's kind of who gave me the idea, to be honest with you. Yeah, Manny yeah, doing the, when they pulled it, the us, Chicano when, Hollywood? Well, no, when they pulled us aside, uh, I want to say for Awaken the Spirits or? Well, they pulled us aside for Awaken. They also pulled us aside this weekend, too. Well, yeah, this weekend, of course. But, I, I mean... Previous to this weekend, I already had the idea of, like, I, I wanted to go in character and go in character and talk to people and just ask them, like, crazy off-the-wall type questions that yeah. would be, you know, my character. So I did do that once with a few fellow other clowns that I'm sure a bunch of you know. <laughs> yeah. But unfortunately, that was the only one that I did because I just, there's so many people. And like I said, I get a little bit anxious around blocking vendors and all this, that, and the other. So yeah, when no, I got I, my opportunity, I seen some chilling though. I did, do, I did go up to them and probably made the vlog. Pose a question. More than, more than likely made the vlog. Um, that's another thing I, I, I definitely have to work on. Get notifications on my computer. I really got to work on my vlogging skills. I, I am so, I, I freeze up in the moment. Like, I say and talk all this, like, I want to do this, that, and this. And then, like, it's in the moment I just freeze up. But I think with an event, like, I was talking to Sammy about this. With an event like Midsummer Scream, like, we want to do all these things. It's just time is literally of the essence for us. Like, yeah, and we can't clone ourselves. Like, we, I know. Like, and, Sammy and, said last time. Like, but you know what? Like, I was thankful that we had four people this year. Extremely fucking thankful. Like, yeah. I, I wish I could fucking go above and beyond do something huge for you guys yeah and you know? i mean 
we also all want to hang out together too. So yeah, I mean, we could all split off and all do this and and get you know potentially more stuff, but then we don't get to to hang out with each other, and that yeah. kind of takes away from the fun for for us. Yeah, it really. I mean, this year was kind of difficult too because I I you know in the past I you know Sammy and I were like fucking magnets. We stick yeah. together. I, I yeah, I did notice that, and I kind of no, it wasn't wasn't like yeah we were just fucking busy we were yeah. everywhere sammy wanted to go see all these panels we were going to see panels like yeah and sammy even got some of the panels that i wanted to see because yeah. I, I know that i originally wanted to see rick west's uh, panel for the socal haunts yeah so i, I know. wanted to see that but i was super happy that i got to make Trix's panel so oh, such a good panel so but, uh, happy that that was that too and i was able to be there for the whole thing yeah, so Saturday's panels we did uh, that we so we kicked it off with Slider Dynamics. I was there for half of it. It was such a good half from what I saw. So I can't wait to watch the last of it. Sorry. No, it's okay. I mean, I, I had to go to the 13th floor panel anyway. Oh, so, that is true. Because okay. his inter interluded with the 13th floor panel, but I he's my buddy. He's my he's one of my best friends, and I wanted to be there for him. Yeah. You know, he's done a lot for me, and and it's only fair, you know, that well, I, I, want... I return the favor. Obviously, he's he's a good buddy of mine. And, yeah, and I wanted to be there for, you know. Yeah, yeah. I love sliding. Everything about it. So yeah, it's, it's a good to be program. There for that. Yeah, and he actually, this year, he stepped it up. He had um, he had two people from the team, uh, which was Creep and Jasper, and they both were up there talking about their experiences with uh, Scott and how how they've learned so much. They were demoing gear. Um, so, you know, it was, it was a pretty packed house. Um, that sounds really cool, though. Panel, yeah. He had a good, he had a good panel this year. And then uh, midway through, I had a, I, I went to go pick up Hayes. Uh, we met outside, and then we ran over to the 13th floor panel. Yes. Um, a new maze got announced for the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride, which I'm super stoked for. It was like Hellbilly something. Um, so that should be cool. We'll see what that's about. Um, Midnight Falls is back. Delusion's doing a 40s theme this year. Uh, Hopefully we can get in there. Delusion is something that I've been trying to go to for now like two or three years. And uh, I know Hayes, I, when I brought as her As soon as you attention, told me about it. Yeah, she's really interested, and so we got to talk to the people at the booth today. Uh, got to you know show some face, introduce ourselves, and, and kind of just kind of get some more information about it. So super stoked about uh, Delusion. And then you know what? Uh, after the first year, you know, being somewhat decent, and 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 them listening to the fans and making improvements, Shacktoberfest looks pretty good this year. First, yeah. uh, we're getting the maze back on the boat this year. One. Uh, well, they one, said a long trail, so that's very. Yeah. I'm very hopeful for that. And they said it's going to be a lot darker this year. Yeah. And so I love the fun. queen in general. And we general. love the queen. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be fun. Shout um, out to all the queen people. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, 13th floor, always ending the panel with free tickets to either Hayride or Shacktoberfest. We got the Hayride ones. And then, ironically, which was funny, <laughs> we went down to their booth and they had a will to spin to win. And on my first try on and on Hayes's first try. At we, separate times, though. At separate times. Yeah. Like, we were in the not beginning, together at those times. Yeah. I, we, Me and Sammy went down like right when we got in at the convention today at like 10. And I, I literally told Sammy, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to spin it and look at you. <laughs> And I turn around and I get a free ticket. So I got the Shacktober. Uh, Hayes got a Shacktober one. So, I mean, shout out to 13th Floor for doing things like this. Uh, it really helps us. And like I love, we said. Oh, I love spinny wheels. Yeah. She, she love loves the spinny wheel, But I see them and I'm just like, ooh, yeah. I need to go. <laughs> yeah. No matter what the prize is. Yeah, like, I don't she care. just wants to spin the wheel. I don't even care if, if, if we don't get I nothing. just want to spin the wheel. Yeah. It, I don't even have to get the prize. Yeah. You just want to spin it. Yeah. And she'll be so. satisfied. That's if any vendors out there ever see me, just run up to your booth, and I'm just like, I just want to spin the wheel. Memorize the makeup, because usually when we go out, she's in makeup. Or the piercings. Or you the know. piercings, yeah. But, Pretty um, similar face. Yeah, a huge, a huge <laughs> thank you to 13th Floor for doing this. Uh, they've been doing this now for since 2019, I believe. Yeah. Um, and they've not uh, they've not let me down ever since. You know, and, and like I was talking about money, it could be you know hard to get somebody some, to some of these haunts so yeah for them to do that to get people out to come experience it and you know it's spread nice the word them. yeah it's very 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 generous of them so thank you guys 13th floor productions we appreciate you great fucking panel uh and we're going to delusion this year mark my words we are going to see delusion this year all right so uh I, I was awaiting it yeah we, we are going we are going um and then i know uh i think after that we we did the uh saw we got invited by uh, Lionsgate to do the Saw experience uh, on the show floor. They had a, a little booth set up for the new movie Saw X, um, which we'll talk about again for today's day because some major news with Saw X also came out. I, I, let's let's be honest. Saw X came to Midsummer Scream and they took that shit over. I saw yeah. a ton of Saw X promotion. They had a panel. Yeah. They there had, was loads. 
they had the they had the booth, and then something that got announced today. Uh, the trailer dropped this weekend too during the booth. Yeah, uh, they didn't. I I heard that they did a trailer and a clip. They got a clip too. I know. I did, we didn't get to see that, but the trailer is out to the public. I have yet to see that trailer yet. Neither have I. Um, I know you're a huge Saw fan. I am. I I'm love a fan Saw. of the franchise. I'm a huge Tobin Bell fan. I think that guy is just such a great actor. There's um, not enough Billy or Jigsaw merch out there. I know. I mean, we need more. Or Hannibal. Give me, give me some more Tobin Bell stuff. Like, I want a Tobin Bell. Like, I love that poster of him with him that has the Jigsaw makeup on for Jigsaw, the promotional posters they used. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I love that fucking photo of him. I wish they would have more of that on T-shirts. And, yeah, Hannibal Lecter, too, please. I see a lot of, like, things like this, like toys and collectibles of Hannibal. and I don't see very much. I see a like, lot of Hannibal, like, I, collector's it, it's items. It's always when we're apart from each other. <laughs> And you're not I able to show few, it to me? I saw a few pops. Yeah, see, I haven't seen any Hannibal Lecter pops ever. Well, if you turn around, I got a Hannibal Lecter pop around there somewhere. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to search the wall in a minute yeah, after this. Yeah, I have one. I know I have one for Ooh. sure because I saw it and I was like, yeah, I need that. Hannibal Lecter was one of my like first uh, like killer movies, I guess you could say. Hannibal the Cannibal. Yeah. Silence Buffalo of the Bill. Lambs was one of my first. Silence of the Lambs is a classic. I uh, fucking love you. Yeah. My dad got in trouble for showing it to me. This is why we're dating. I love you, too. Because we, 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 we have so much in common. Oh, and then Art Sideshow. Art Sideshow, dude. House of a Thousand. House of a Thousand Corpses exhibit was love so House fucking thousand great too. photo op. Spooky Professor had her own fucking yes. her own area to this year. Shout out to Spooky Professor. I got to talk right? to her today. And so I didn't. Humble. Did you get a card from her? No, I didn't. I completely. She has a ton still, I think. I don't know how it happened today, but today I was looking for her booth and I was looking for Jerry and Jay's booth because I wanted to get footage of them. Yeah. You know, for the channel and for you. And I don't know how I walked around the show for like three times and somehow missed. They both, were down like, the street every from time. The, the I know Spooky Professor was like three booths down from the Ecto uh, Ecto ones that they had out for the Ghostbusters. Oh, okay. I so walked past was, that, yeah, a few times today. Yeah, she was, like, three down, like, going towards the, the snack bar that way, you know, towards oh. the back wall. Well, yeah, um, it could have been just been crowded right yeah. then, too, because, like I said, when the crowd, I kind of just... So, it was cool because she had these, like, exclusive, like, they look like playing cards, like Pokemon cards. Oh, uh, Trick and Treat also had those. Re oh, man, I missed them. Trick and treat, yeah, they had those also. And and she, uh, I told her, I was like, you should fucking every midsummer print out a new character that you've done. Yeah, that would be cool. Or whatever character she's in that time. Yeah. Yeah, like this year she brought the her doll character out, which I think is so terrific. Yes. Uh, I I feel so 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 bad for her though because she she did tell me that her face was so broken out from the weekend. But she my is, face is getting like that too. I am so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Um, but she is such a trooper. You're such a trooper. I mean, for, for putting up with it all weekend. I don't know how you guys do it. I've tried to do the cosplay game for a day at last year at Midsummer <laughs> Scream. Sweated my ass off. I am also a bigger guy, and I also never cut my fucking hair. So that's a that's You a have downside. to choose something that's accommodable to the weather as well. Like, yeah, you know, know. Nights of Horror t-shirt, skirt. Yeah, you did a nice little Nights <laughs> of Horror get up today. I liked it a lot. Thank you. Um... So yeah, we did the saw. The saw stuff was great. Uh, so big shout out to Saw for reaching out to us and uh, inviting yeah, like us out. Yeah, seeing all those props. Yeah, it was cool to see all the props of the film, especially a, a new trap. Yes. That I'm super excited to kind of see on there, and he's talking about brain surgery and stuff. I'm like, this is gonna be fuck. This is gonna take it back to Saw, like the original Saws right here, where like. And I wonder if that's kind of a trope to him getting brain surgery. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be a prequel. Yeah, so from what I understood, from what people told me from the panel who I talked to, which was mainly Manly and Marlene, <laughs> shout out to uh, OADV Media, go see, go subscribe to them. They're, they are wonderful people. Um, they told us that it's supposed to take place in Mexico. It's, it's supposed to take place in between one and two. Okay. So he's trying to go down to Mexico to find his cure for his disease. I think it's, he's got cancer, right? Yes. So he's trying to find a cure for his cancer down in Mexico, but I think he what he's going to do is... He's going to find some scumbags down in Mexico, and he's going to put them through games. I mean, All listen. Right. I've said it many times, and I'll, and I'll continue to say it. You can't do Saw without Tobin Bell. You just can't. And I know they tried, and he still had voice cameos, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. But he needs to physically be there. Like, he he owns Saw. Saw is his franchise. Like, yes. if there's no Tobin Bell in it, I kind of get a little disappointed. So that's why when I saw Jigsaw, I was – I mean, Spiral's different. Like, Spiral, they made it clear. Like, this is – 
This is in the Saw universe, but it's it's from the book of Saw. So you're going to see yeah. like a, another copycat killer, like from another part of the world doing Saw stuff. And I'm like, okay, I can get on board with that. But like he, John Kramer was mentioned in the film. Yeah. You know, like as like, oh, someone's bringing up Kramer's work again and trying to recreate it and stuff. Exactly. So I, you know, like that jig or um, Spiral gets an exception. But, like, there was a few Saw movies that you just got his voice and it was other killers. And I kind of was like, okay. Like, after they kind of killed off Tobin Bell's character, I was like, I Yeah, it definitely sucks. was not as good. Yeah. Um, and the, I, I really didn't like when they had um, the cop as, the like, the main killer. Oh, and Jigsaw, I think it was? Yeah, I don't even. Or was I that Spiral? When I, I'll be honest. When I watch these movies, most of the time I watch, like, a couple of them. So I can't even tell you like let's, what number is what number anymore let's but. really be honest we don't really watch these movies for the story we watch it for the traps and the fucking gore yeah i'm a big gore person well i'm i'm so fascinated all the time of how he construct these these traps yeah i mean the i i know it's all fiction the but engineering aspect of it yeah the engine like the actual behind the scenes of like how these writers and producers and all these special effects artists and everything create these traps for film is so like mind blowing to me because they're so like technological traps. Like, who would have thought to use a reverse fuck? Who would have thought to use a fucking bear trap as like <laughs> a fucking tra like? That's terrifying. Like every time I see bear, bear traps now, I'm just like, fuck, dude. That is my number one fear to be put in one of those. That's funny because I was scared of bear traps before, and then I seen the bear trap and I uh, like on saw, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of interesting. And then not to mention, <laughs> it, it, it saw two traumatized me with needles. Yeah, that was horrible. That fucking, I mean. I did not have a phobia of needles until that prior movie. to that. Yeah. And then that movie happened and I was like, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to watch it was like she my got blood fucking, get drawn it was like a, anymore. A bath of needles. Yeah, and, that was and they horrible. Probably, they probably were all dirty needles, too. I can promise you that. Well, I've seen the behind the scenes on that, but, you know. Well, I'm saying, like, in the yeah, actual movie, you know. In the thought process of it. Yeah, like, in the actual story, they were probably yeah. just, Kramer don't, give, Kramer don't give a fuck. No. But, Probably uh, all the ones that he got from the container bins. Yeah, I'm super stoked for Saw 10. I'm so happy Me that too. they invited us out to see that. Um, that was a really cool experience. I really enjoyed it. They even gave us a little press badge, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, that was. Um, so I was very happy with that. And uh, then right after that, it was time for the 50th anniversary of Not Scary Farm, which let me tell you, both ending panels for both days, Saturday and Sunday, fucking filled, packed <laughs> house. Um, not I, scary farm. Oh, go ahead and say what you were going to say. Trix filled her panel too. Yeah, Trix filled her <laughs> panel too. I'm very impressed with that. Sorry, I just had to throw that in there. Well, we, we, will, we will talk about that because there's a lot I want to say about that panel. Like I said, I just had panel. to throw that in there because you yeah. were talking about filling up panels. No, I was talking about like both end of the day panels. Yeah, that's true. But you yeah. know, they, they both filled up, which doesn't surprise me with the two names that we're going to talk about with those panels. But yeah, that is true. To end night one or to end night two, which was Saturday, uh, they, they finished it off with the 50th anniversary of Not Scary Farm. Uh, for us, it's a huge deal here on the channel. We're huge diehard fans of Not Scary Farm. Uh, it's a great haunt. It's one of the it, it is the original haunt. Um, so I thought that panel was really good in the sense that we got a little history of like how the event started and and what icons made that event what it is today. What yes. celebrities made that event what it is today. Um, all the throughout the years of how it evolved to what it is today. Um, and then we were we were given a fuck ton of announcements. Nothing related to, of course, the event yet, but like on the merchandise side and, and a brand new original character. Um, I was just stoked on that, honestly. Um, so much fucking merch. Twenty one new t shirts, fifty new pins, a fucking monopoly game based around not scary farm. I'm super stoked for that. We're gonna buy that for sure. Yes. Um, and just so much a, a new tribute store that's going to be built which is going to be this if anyone knows hhn orlando's tribute store it's going to be on the scale of that now um it, it just so much stuff to be the entrance looks fucking dope it's going to be all 50 years represented on, on the main entrance where they usually have like the giant skulls and stuff yeah. the skeletons um and we got a brand new character who's based off um one of the one of the people who were kind of like the entertainment people at knots in the very beginning um, I, I, I do, I, I forgot his name. It's something with an S, but, um, set Sevor, Sever, Sever, I don't remember what it was, but see, Seymour, Seymour, there you go. Seymour. Uh, that's funny. Was, I missed that part and I still, <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, Seymour. No, you were there for Seymour. Uh, you weren't that? there for the character reveal. Oh, okay. Um, shout out to Monty Revolta. Yeah, we knew it was you under that costume, buddy. Um, but anyway, 
Yeah, I mean, tons of new merch. Uh, safe to say, you and I are gonna go bankrupt. Maybe uh, there's a lot of shirts I want to get. There's a lot of there's uh you know me I collect the the legacy pins of the yeah. closing mazes. So there's probably the legacy gonna be a pins few. are awesome though. Yeah, those are cool. So there's probably gonna be a few new of those. They haven't announced them yet. Uh, but we what also we got announced is they brought back. They're bringing back the announcement ceremony, which hasn't been done since 2019. Um, it took a little hiatus because of COVID. And this year, they're bringing it back in full style. Tickets go on sale tomorrow uh, as of this recording, which is Monday, July 31st at 10 a.m. Announcement what? Uh, so they're going to have an announcement event at Knott's okay. Berry Farm, August 24th. And tickets go on sale to the public uh, on tomorrow at 10. So I'm going to get us tickets so we can go to that. Oh, awesome. Sounds so fun. So it's, it's, it's going to be a Look Thursday, forward to it. August 24th. So request that day off. Oh, okay. we Will do. Because it is going to be at night. It's going to be like 7 at night. At, uh, My Walter boss Knott probably Theater. hates me. <laughs> yeah, I, I apologize, but you know we love haunt, so we do. It's uh, but this, literally this, like you're you're uh, you're gonna definitely want to go after I tell you this. This is going to announce everything, all the new stuff, the 50 year anniversary stuff returning. Uh, they do with theatrics. They have people oh, wow. come out in costumes. That's fun. Um, I love costumes. Characters, and then afterwards that you can go. They'll have some merch available to buy at the event. Okay, cool. Of the 50th uh, at the store across the way right there. So, or they did in the past. I don't know if they will this year. I hope they will this year. But uh, last year after the it was all said and done, they kept you kind of in that area where Goring 20s is at. Okay. And they had characters roaming around so you can talk with them, take pictures with them, all that oh, stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Character interact yeah. interaction. Yeah. A couple from each zone, a couple new looks for the like the mazes and stuff. Um, so I'm excited for that. But Seymour kind of got a character, original character based around him. Um, oh, cool. He kind of looks like Seymour, but a little bit more dead. You know what I mean? Kind of like <laughs> more, more haunt, scary. Yeah, um, we did. We did find out that you know the main theme of Knots is that Knots is dead. Yeah, it's not. You know, the park is dying. And and shout out to uh, what, what was his name? Carl, I think he was the, uh, or I forget what his name was, but he was the merchandise guy at the panel, and his energy is second to none. If he is watching this video. I would love to have you on my podcast one day just to talk merchandise and the event with you because you have such great energy and I, I would love to just chat with you or just keep putting them in all the goddamn panels every single year because <laughs> that guy's energy was second to none. And my favorite thing about the panel was the museum because yes. last year we were walking around uh, the Goring 20 store. You, you know which one I'm talking about? The one that was connected to the arcade? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you were talking about how awesome it would be, or, you know, you came up to me and you're like, how cool it would be if, if they did a museum. And we, like, both went on this, like, 20-minute, like, in-depth conversation about yeah. how cool a museum would be. And that's essentially what the tribute store is going to be. Yeah. Is so it's going to be a museum of all the year, all the decades of fucking Scary Farm. Five decades of Scary Farm and just a bunch of fucking... 50th anniversary merch. I want to get that 50th anniversary of of the goo oozing. I didn't get to see the merch yet, so yeah. So, but I am looking forward to seeing it when it does like come out. So when you told me that, I was a little bit bummed, but I was a little bit excited too because I like seeing things firsthand sometimes instead of you know the sneak peeks. But and we got some video ideas with that new uh, Monopoly, and I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, because it's uh, I was so blown away <laughs> to find out they're making a not scary farm Monopoly. Like me and Hayes will probably play that shit like every weekend now. Yeah. I'd be like, I call Ghost Town. <laughs> I'm buying Ghost Town. Yes. That's going you know to fucking, be, like, be one of the blue properties right there is Ghost Town. You know me. I'll just be happy to be playing a board game. Yeah. And I'll be like, I don't care as long as I get Carnival. We were playing <laughs> We were playing the Pennywise uh, um, it, the, it Monopoly the other day, or a few months ago. Yeah. We had so much fun doing that. Uh, she, You never really got to play board games growing up, so like. To, to have that experience, to get to do that with you was a lot of fun. Yeah, um, I always yeah. have fun. I don't even care if I win. I'm just like, Yeah, we were having uh, a great playing. time. We were just <laughs> buying up properties. We were going back and forth. We would get so pissed off back and forth when we would start running low on money. Be like, fuck, I got to pay you now. God damn it. Well, I mean, I wasn't really mad. I was still just happy to be playing. But I, I get yeah. when I say I'm mad, it's more of like a playful yeah, mad. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm in the moment. So. Yeah, I'm like, God damn it. I You're like, I want to win. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm, cool. I guess I'm a little competitive sometimes. Even if we got to the end and I won and you were like, no, but I lost. I'd be like, no, it's okay. You won. <laughs> I know for sure one of the videos will be, we're going to, we're going to try to get all the Knights of Horror members down and we'll do a group game of Knights of Horror, even if we live stream it. That would be fun. Like I'd have a camera facing the board. Yeah. Like an and on then, top. And then a count, a camera that just faces us. So it'd be cool. It'd be a lot of fun. 
But that was cool. I mean, not Scary Farm, bravo. It was great to see you guys back at Midsummer Scream. Uh, it has been since 2019, since we've seen you guys at Midsummer Scream. Um, so it was just great to have you guys back. Uh, packed house. It was great. Uh, it was. Day one was just a fucking great time. And then afterwards, we went to a park and fucking did a photo shoot <laughs> uh, with some clowns, and that was a lot of fun. And some very unruly kids. Oh, God, don't even get me started with those kids. <laughs> I looked up at them, and the first thing I said was, where are your parents? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, I think we did. We got some good footage there too with some clowns. That was fun. That, yeah, that was fun. Um, I know we're doing some. We're doing. We're working with someone to do some promotional stuff. So well, when I'm that, trying when, to. We'll see where where that goes. Yeah. So when when that gets closer, and if it goes all well and said and done, um, we'll I'll make another announcement later. Yeah, we'll make we'll another just announcement. Do that but uh, yeah, we did film a little bit, a couple of little promos for some some stuff. So super stoked for that that was fun yeah it was um, it was a lot I, I just, of fun i didn't I, really i wasn't too involved with it i was i was more on the area of like all our stuff's here yeah these kids look shady i'm gonna wait right here but i'm enjoying what i'm seeing very much appreciated <laughs> yeah very much. and uh i love rolling around with a bunch of clowns so yeah. you know that's always fun <laughs> and and hayes we big, wanted well, go ahead i was gonna say big shout out to you this weekend um uh, for months and months uh, this whole year since we've been together she's constantly told me you know she she wants to help and everything and it's not that I never trusted her or anything. It's just I, I think I was at a point where, like, certain events, I was like, no, I'm good with one camera and stuff. But um, little by little, starting during screen or, you know, uh, <laughs> spring and stuff like that during springtime and everything, we started giving like you the spring camera. Break. Yeah, spring break is when we really started uh, giving you the camera and you started playing with it and everything. Yeah. And every event after that we've gone to, you've, you've gotten a couple B-rolls here and there. And this and this weekend, big time, you you really helped me a ton, and um, I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And well, you're welcome. I just want to so help. For that. Just want to help and get some cool footage of you know cosplayers. Oh and yeah. Try and share people and well, vendors and whoever else I can. This was the year that we <laughs> legit cloned ourselves. Or I cloned myself because <laughs> every version, every person in this group is an iteration of me. Just fucking. A different side of it. Hayes is like the fucking cosplayer in me that I've always wanted to do, but she's so way more talented at that than I am. Thank um, you. And and I know that uh, part of our arrangement too was like if 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 worse came to worse. I mean, I know I, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I forgot to give you the camera today. It's okay. Uh, but we kind of just it was more of a chill day, uh, and we were more uh, panel hopping. Yeah, and I grabbed some stuff on my phone, so cool you know. Deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was it was I mean it was great to have you to film, especially when I told you like, especially after today when we had to wait in the Horror Nights line, it was long. I was like, hey, you know, I should probably wait in this line just because it's gonna get worse. Yeah. I was like, but if you want to go walk the show for like, I, I highly recommend it because I think after this is just we're done, you know. Like, yeah, I was happy to go walk around. And yeah, so see some more stuff. Yeah, about an hour to go walk around and, and go see the the show for one last time. And, yeah. Sadly, you know. I didn't make it back to Spicy Donut. Sorry. But I mean, honestly, spicy donut. I, anybody that doesn't know spicy donut, go check it out. Yeah, I was just I introduced love him this pins, weekend. Love his pins and love his art, but I, I, it will, it's very easy to spend a lot of money at his booth. 100%. I have to, I have to walk up with a limitation on myself. <laughs> yeah, the, the the biggest thing for me, obviously, to get was when I found out Harvey Gein was going to be here this week. They or last week when they announced it, uh, very last minute. Um, that was a huge deal for me because, I mean, you and I, we watch what we do in the shadows every single week. And you did that, that fan film. Yeah, and we even went as far as we were, me and Mary, we were, we were such huge fans of the show. We, we got together and finally, uh, last Christmas at Season Screamings, which was another midsummer event, um, we, uh, we got together and we did a fan film of what we do in the shadows based around not just characters specifically. Yep. Um, so that was a lot of fun. I, I wish, I, I, I hope Mary's doing okay. Yeah, I know she came we out love on, you, Mary. We do love you so much, Mary. Um, you know, if you ever want to talk, we're Feel always better. we're always here for you. Um, and whenever you're ready, I'm ready to get back on and and, and do more what we do in the shadows because yeah. uh, it could be a lot of fun. Um, or just hang out. You know? Or just hang out. Yeah, we don't even have to do anything. We don't have to film. We could just hang out and just geek out and talk. That'd be fun. But uh, yeah, it was a it was it was a really. I want. I don't want to say emotional, but it was kind of like a surreal moment for me. Yeah. For someone that I watched on TV now for five seasons. I was so hopeful that I would have been able to be there, but I yeah, know, again, I'm I was so late. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. That's my fault. I'm late all the time. Yeah, I know, but we doing still. Doing the space paint. I, I, I. So the good thing about that was he was only there Saturday and Sunday. 
Yeah. And uh, we, you know, when when you have gold bat and everything, they let you in an hour early. So we went down the hall of shadows for a little bit, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go see if Harvey's here because I want to meet him bad before his line gets too long. I know a lot of people are gonna come and meet him because this show is huge right now. Yeah, which was very smart of you. Yeah, so I I went straight over there, and uh, Tim from TLEV. Uh, by the way, Tim and Mar, we love you guys too. Uh, you guys are some of our greatest friends when we go out and haunts. I guess we, we usually do everything with you guys when it comes to haunts. Uh, so it's usually the four of us. Uh, and, and I think I, I love our little little quad group we have here. I mean, I know you and Mar get along very well, and me and Tim will just shoot the shit, and then we all shoot the we, shit. So. we got to get Omi in this, though. Yeah, we need to get them in our little crew, too. Because they're awesome, too. They are awesome. You have a lot of, of really cool, awesome YouTube friends, though. I, I will admit that. I, like, in the year that me and you have been together, you've introduced me to a lot of really cool and really nice people. I'm extremely blessed in the sense that with TLEV, I never expected them to be as good of a friends as they are now. And uh, they they are, they are welcomed me with open arms. They were super nice to me. And, I'm, and I to this day, we actually have a group chat together now. So <laughs> it's kind of surreal to me. I, I sometimes get starstruck when I think about it. But at the same time, they're human, too. They're, yeah. they're you know, they're just like we're me. and. And I'm just so glad they accept me, and I, I I love hanging out with them. It's mostly been Tim lately. I'm getting a little tired of Tim. <laughs> Not really. I love Tim. Tim knows it. Tim and I do everything together. I love Mr. Timbo Frenchie. Um, but, yeah, I, I love Tim. I love Mar. Mar's a sweetheart. She's always super kind to us. And I didn't get to tell Mar today, but I loved her skirt today. She was wearing, like, this Mar. Like, like I will smiley say, slime skirt. It was awesome. Mar always, Mar and Tim always have the best fits for they these do. events. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, you and I are over here trying to trying to catch up with them, and we're just like, <laughs> okay. Well, I have a very awkward sense of style, but yeah. I know. I think now when I have my new fucking jacket that you made me, though. I mean, I wore that on Friday, and I was deeply in love with it. You saw me. I good. I'm glad. I wanted to wear it all weekend, but it was too fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I even told you not to wear it on Friday, but you know. I'm I wear happy, Friday, I'm but Friday, that, yeah. yeah, I'm happy that Friday you wasn't bad. Friday was good. Okay. So Friday was good. I, I I got a little hot, but I rolled up the sleeves a little bit, and I was fine. So. All right. Um, it was a hot weekend in general. It was. Um, yeah, today wasn't too bad, but when the panel or when uh when it did close out, it was kind of warm. It was nice and cool when I got there, though. Yeah. No, it was it was great. Um, no, I, and that's the thing is like uh, I'm very grateful f to know all these people in the community. Um, I uh, for those who know. In the beginning, and it still is to like this to this day. I love collaboration. I do so much. If we can get together creatively and create something together, uh, it's great. That's I, why when when I shot the idea for you to do this podcast with me, I was like, this is also a way to that I get to spend more time with you. You know, and we get to talk and have conversations, and it's just it's just yeah. you and me really talking in front of an audience at this point. Um, and we still got to get a bunch of uh, you know. Maybe we'll get Tim and Mar on the show one of these days if they're down. Yeah, that would be cool. Maybe if but we're I like. I was gonna say we gotta do um, an Marlin. escape room. Yeah, all like, all six of us. T L E V, like um, Ami Adventures. Then we all gotta do this. You know, we're we're all trying to do that R I P tour together. That would be so cool too. I know. I'm gonna hit everyone up and see. I know. I know money's tight with everyone, yeah. especially I know with uh, Manny and Marlin. They're fucking hustlers. So yes, they're, they they, are. they're very busy people as far as like you know work life goes. Manny wasn't even at. Uh, Midsummer Scream today because he had to deal with something with work today. Yeah. Um, so but Marlin was there and Marlin she was in was costume and wearing a Squid Games costume. She's a big oh, fan. Of Squid. Yeah, she's a big fan of Squid Games. I have yet to see <laughs> it. Maybe we should watch it one of these days, huh? Uh, maybe. I, I think know. you would actually enjoy it. To be honest with you, I don't know. I heard it was like red light, green light, and like this and that. It's a bunch of games, but it's like if you fucking fail, they kill you. Yeah, I heard about it. I don't know. I yes, uh, check it out. I think I, I got to check it out. I'm very iffy on it. But I'm very usually I'm very iffy about foreign stuff too. Only because like I I most of the time I just don't want to read subtitles. That's how lazy I am. It's subtitled. Yeah, because I think it was filmed in South Korea. Yeah, I think that might be out for me then. <laughs> I will say though, like a, a perfect example of this, right? There was a movie that came out a few years ago. I think in 2018, Sammy and I were hooked on it. It was called Parasite. And it was shot. It was a South. It was shot in South Korea. It was a Korean film, mm -hmm. whole movie subtitled. But it is such a good movie that no matter, even if you weren't reading the subtitles, you know what's going on. I want to say I heard about it, but I didn't watch it. <laughs> I'll watch if you want to watch it one of these days. I suggest it because it's actually like a thriller. It, it, it gets it, we, there's moments in the movie where it's kind of creepy. I'm just like, what the fuck? We could try it. Yeah, I'm no, down. I haven't no seen it in a while. No promises that I won't fall asleep because I am horrible with reading. We'll watch reading. it when you're wide awake, then. <laughs> we'll get a decent night's sleep and we'll watch it one of these days.
anyways. That'd be funny. I still fall asleep though. So yeah, Saturday I think was great. Afterwards, we uh, um, I know you and I uh, we hung out with Manny and Marlin. Yeah, I hung uh, out with Manny and Marlin. Then we did the photo shoot, and then uh, we went to go put our stuff down. We were supposed to go walk through the farmers market, but we lagged. We lagged, and then so. I think the clown the clowns we were working. Yeah, they with, had to take off. They had to take off. So, but, but big shout was, out to you know everybody, Limbo, Boppo, um, yeah. Mister Baker, and the unknown. Yeah, that's was, all I can say. He's unknown. So yeah, the unknown. The unknown. The uh, I think what was cool is when we all hung out in front of the convention center. Me, you, Manny, Marlin, Star. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm so I feel so bad for this, but I'm drawing a blank for the the Star's friend. Her name? Do you remember her name? I want to say Kate or Katie, something uh, like that. Uh, whatever. She, her I know name she was. works at Rana Terra though. Big shout out yeah. to her. Big shout out she, to Rana Terra. Big she shout out to her. is in one of my last Rain of Terror TikTok. Nice. So, you know. Yeah, big shout out to her. Um, we were all hanging out, just chilling, having a good time, just chatting it up. I am um, sad you didn't get to see her in her clown, though. She looked really awesome. Her and her, I, her, I want to say partner, maybe friend, I don't know. But, you know, I, they looked really cool together. I seen her, like, post, like, at night after she was getting kind of more comfy. Yeah. And she still kind of had some paint on her face and stuff. <laughs> in the day. But, um, no, shout out to them. Uh, we love Star, too. Star's great. Yes, Star's we do love Star. Star's a friend of ours. Uh, she's super sweet, super kind. Go to Very Hall- talented. If y'all are trying to look for a place to go scare at this year, go go check out Hall- Holly Haunted Hayride. My, my, my girl Star, she's, she's going to do big things there. I know she is. Um, yes, she will. Which brings us into Sunday. Sunday uh, was another good day. Uh, I know Sammy and I, we started the day before you got there. We just kind of walked the show floor a little bit. We did a, we did a lap around the Hall of Shadows uh, just to check it out. But we mostly, we mostly stuck to the show floor just to kind of enjoy it before the crowds got in. Um, so that was cool. We got to see the show floor again, and then uh, we made our way up. I had to go to the screening screaming room. Um, yeah. They had uh, a feature film that I was uh, lucky enough to be a part of, thanks to Noah. I, uh, big shout-out to Noah Pint. Yeah. Um, I'm still waiting for my next role. <laughs> and he said he's got something for me in the future, so I'm, I'm just waiting for the phone call, and I will be there. Um, I'm excited for you. I'm excited. I can't wait. Uh, Noah is, in my eyes, such a fucking genius uh, when it comes I know. to filmmaking. You've, I know. You've spoken very highly about him multiple times. Yeah. I mean, his cinematography, his storytelling is so good from what I've seen thus far with his with his horror franchise that he's that he's working on. He's he's doing a, his, a, his own universe, if you will. Um, oh. Horror Stories of 23rd Street. Okay. Um, and we've gotten three so far. Uh, can't sleep. The devil's got my arms, and I, I'm for, I'm forgetting the last one, but it was a found footage film. Um, all tie in somehow. Hell and, yeah! Uh, I was fortunate enough to be the devil, and the devil's got my arms. So, very thankful for that opportunity. Uh, anyone that showed up to the to that that out that block when we were showing it, uh, I hope you guys voted for it. Uh, it was up for uh, for vote for the film festival. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It was part of the occult series, um, as well as shout out to all the other films that were part of that series. Um, I, 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 I'm having trouble remembering their names, but they were all fucking great. It was, it, I, I, you know, for me being me, I was only biased because I, it was the film that I was in <laughs> the film that my buddy made. But yeah. That's why I voted for it. But I was, I'm not even gonna lie. I almost became a traitor. I almost <laughs> voted for something else because there were some really good horror films in that block. It was all occult based. So if anybody knows anything about the occult. It is obviously anything that involves rituals, summoning of some sorts, um, and Devil's Got My Arms, that's what it's about. You're, they're playing this game called The Devil's Got My Arms, and they're trying to summon this demon, and they end up do summoning this demon, and he ends up picking off all the victims one by one until they're all dead, and he's got all their arms. Um, I hope this character in the future makes an appearance again. I would love to reprise the role. Well, if they um, all tie in. Yeah, and the, the we know the devil is not... He's now summoned, so he's here on, on our realm. And he's coming in with the vengeance. I'll tell you right now, if I have the opportunity to come back, I'm playing this character aggressively. There you go. I have to. I have to do the character justice. I have to do Noah justice. And I want to make them as I want to make these characters as scary as possible. And whatever I can do to help. Even if I play multiple of these characters, if I play another fucking monster, if my whole <laughs> career is me playing villains, I would be so fucking happy with that. Because anyone who knows me knows I'm the complete opposite. Yes, you definitely like, are. I'm a giant teddy bear. You really are. I, I really am. Like, I, I, I don't, you know, man, you, you know me more than anyone. I don't, I'm not a drama guy. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a, I'm not anything. No, I'm, you really I'm, are. You, you really are chill. this super nice one, and I am that other side. <laughs> 
I'm from zero to twenty, and yeah, you know? but you're you're getting. <laughs> ever since being with me, you you you're really good at controlling it. I feel. Unless it really gets under your skin. And yeah. I'm like, okay, but I understand. I'm not I'm just gonna let her do her. <laughs> but no, you're good at you're good at it. You know how to control it. You're good. You're not, try, you're not you as know? bad as you think you are. <laughs> um but yeah, that was how I started my, my by the way, next year, and I'm I'm talking to you specifically, babe. Yes. you're gonna wanna bring a jacket because we might spend a little bit more time in the screaming room. Yeah, I was so fine. happy to do it that's this cool. year. What's up? So that's cool. I it's just really cold in there. That's why I said bring a jacket. Yeah, even I was cold this morning, um, but it felt it, it's probably the best AC out of the whole convention. Oh wow! A hundred percent. You know what I was sad that we didn't get to experience the Black Cat Lounge. Yes. Did you see that line though? Yes, I did. That's why I, I, know. I did not try. I, and it's not, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, I know. Sammy wanted to do it. I wanted to do it, and and our scheduling yeah. conflict got it. But after seeing that line, you know. But Maybe I, I multiple black cat rooms next time. I know. Get like two. <laughs> step it up. Because uh, everybody wants to see the kitties. I very much am hoping that a lot of kitties went home to very, very get, so great families. Um, that's the whole point of it is is the city. Uh, I think there's a company out in Los Angeles that comes out. They're a, they're a, I think they're a, a, a whatchamacallit, an animal shelter. Like a no-kill shelter? Yeah, an animal shelter. So they have all these uh, cats uh, up for adoption every single year. Uh, yeah, I wanted to try to get some information from the, from them. Yeah. So. For um, we we definitely got to try to do that next year. Maybe that yes. Friday we'll do it. Uh, I know Friday was kind of a weird day for us too because we were supposed to get couples tattoos that day. Yeah, but you know. And for as small as they wanted, uh, that and was I, just. I kind of understand the pricing, uh, only in the sense that I think it's more convention center rules, where they have to they have to price them at a certain level. Sometimes I remember. One I don't know. year. I remember one I've, year. Because I went to the Star Wars convention last year or two okay. years ago, right? And they had a whole tattoo section and they said that the standard price for every tattoo, no matter what it was, was like $150. And they said that that was convention rules that they had to put that on. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe that's just like yeah. outside con or uh, like non tattoo conventions or something like that. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't but know. for me, I'm very price conscientious of things. So to speak, so you know. Now don't get me I don't, wrong. I don't mind paying for a good tattoo, but at least personally, I feel like uh, like a convention like Midsummer Scream isn't necessarily the place to get a tattoo. But I right. wanted to do it because it was something that we could do together and at Midsummer. Yeah. So I did think that it was cool. I mean, I know I'm very much contradicting myself and what I'm saying, but. In a way, I feel like a convention isn't the place to charge so much for a tattoo. Yeah, especially because, what we wanted. Well, yeah, especially from what we wanted because it wasn't, you know, we were gonna, it wasn't no bigger than a fucking half dollar. Yeah, we, more than we, likely. We were going <laughs> to get a couple's tattoo, uh, a Halloween based one. Yes. Specifically, like not only the holiday, but like the movie too. Um, I'm, I'm a huge Michael Myers fan. I know Hayes likes Halloween too. Yes. Um, and we were going to get a, we have a really good, and we're, we're, it's still in the work. It's not like it's off. It's like, okay, this, this didn't work out, but let's try to go somewhere else so that we can get it cheaper. Yeah. I did get a recommendation. So, so um, we were going to get, so if you guys know the movie Halloween in the mm -hmm. beginning, when they have the pumpkin lighting up with the candle, uh, that specific pumpkin Hayes was going to get that tattooed on her body. However, hers was going to, her pumpkin was going to be missing an eye. Yes. And the couple's part of it was I was going to have Michael Myers' knife, and the, on the edge of it was going to be the eye of the pumpkin. So that was kind of like my knife stabbed her eye and took it out. Yes. That was going to be our couple's tattoo. Um, and I think, yeah, they wanted like 200 each for that. Yeah. And, and for me, I was just like, no. I'm like, yeah, I would have done it maybe if it was like 100 each. Yeah, if it was a hundred, I feel like I would have done it also. Yeah, if it was like a hundred each, I would have been like, okay, yeah, that's two hundred dollars. That's good. We can yeah. do that. You know, uh, but if it's two hundred each, I'm like, uh, it's not that big though, dude. Like, I don't want to. And and like I said, no disrespect to the company, to the artist. No, not at all. You know, they got their prices and stuff. I even looked at some of their their work. They're the same company that I saw at Monster Palooza who had the uh, infamous knives with the uh, serial killers in them. Yes, I remember we did see that and we discussed that. Yeah. Uh, I remember Monster. At Monster Palooza, though, I felt like it was more a reasonable price. 
Yeah, uh, but we I, didn't see it until we were leaving. Yeah, and there was and there was also like more tattoo artists down that road too. I remember they had a, like a whole yeah. row of just like that half row. That first half of that row was just tattoo artists. I don't remember being so many, but it wasn't um, this year's monster. I believe it. I think it was twenty twenty one. Oh, okay. That yeah, that that could have been very well done because yeah. I'll admit I don't remember last year so I much. Really I wasn't in the greatest like space, any but. tattoo artist at Mount Palooza this year. To be honest with you, not to my knowledge, you may have saw something I didn't. I think I saw one, maybe. So, but, but yeah, yeah I, I think I know Scott from Exploring Attractions got a tattoo though from one oh, of the really? artists. He got oh. one of like a skeleton peeking out of like looks like he's peeking out of his skin. Yes, I did see that. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is uh, at a convention, I feel like it's going to be really quick. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, and you want to so go to a shop. So if you're going to spend that that amount, I feel like it should be a little bit more uh, personalized or, right. or, you know, like not a rush type thing. Right. So that's why I feel like a convention, maybe they should stick to more like the, the tattoo convention type rules. You know, where if you want, if you do want to get something that's custom, either it needs to be really simple or uh, you're going to have to schedule something, you know, and we did try to schedule. So, yeah, we try to get through them. I understand they're probably DMs were super busy this weekend. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Um, So uh, a big shout out to them. Uh, Thank you guys so much for even uh, trying to get back to us. us. Um, I know our stuff was a little bit more complicated, uh, but I know when I explained it in person to the guy, he understood it completely. Yeah. Um, So. Yeah, it's easier to it's easier to explain stuff in person than it is to actually do it over text. But definitely, um, that's still on the agenda to get. I, I'm also getting another tattoo uh, next month of a yeah. uh, sequel to my Frank my uh, Frankenstein's monster. I'm gonna get the bride next to him, kind of looking up at him. So to kind of complete that duo, and then uh, I think we'll the see next if I get something. <laughs> you'll see if you get something too. We'll see. And then uh, the next thing I want to get uh, as far as monsters go is either the Wolfman or the Invisible Man. Um, so we'll I'm- see. I mean, I'm just going to throw this out there. I am looking for a good tattoo artist. I, I want to get... Yeah, if anyone done. knows any tattoo artists out there, leave some comments down below. We're always looking to yeah. uh, get some tattoos reasonably priced and and. Uh, We've been looking since fairly, June to get one, and yeah. things just haven't been working out. Fairly uh, good distance, too. We're, we're based out of, uh, like, uh, like, kind of... I'm based out of, like, Norwalk. She's based out of, like, you know, the, the kind like of... West like Covina area. West Covina area, so... Uh, if you guys know any of tattoos that are nearby, uh, shops that are really you good artists, reasonably priced, like, they hit us up because we're always looking for some stuff. Even Anaheim. Anaheim, yeah. Like, if you guys in the OC area, LA County area, like, let us know because we'll, we'll, if, if it's a yes. good artist, reasonably priced, we'll go out and get some tattoos if, if they're if even like, us. I would, I would go to say as far as, like, Ontario, maybe even Riverside, I would be willing to travel. Yeah. Uh, for good, I know you're, you're more good near there. price priced well work yeah right um so let's talk a little bit sunday this is our this was just today um it's our i gotta admit i got really sad today after everything you know because the panel ends and then you're pretty much like you're out yeah so i know you you i wish it was like an hour or two longer so much Yeah. (laughs) yeah and 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 the thing about thing about Hayes, if you guys don't know this is she she puts a lot of time in her makeup and when she she is painted up she likes to really kind of uh do it we were supposed to do some other stuff today but i think everyone at this point was just kind of tired and yeah. hungry so i i came up with a compromise i know we were supposed to film our first episode with you painted up uh, when we talked about the a review so i was like well let's not put your makeup to waste but it but it there it is there it is uh hopefully and just to throw out there the it escape room in las vegas was featured at midsummer scream also this yes. year because they had a big Billboard. Photo op yeah. thing, billboard, yeah. And then uh, at the Saw saw Experience, they, they had, also had, uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, but they had the little... Escape room yeah, they had yeah. A, yeah, they had a little sheet thing. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, as of this recording, Hayes and I are actually going to Las Vegas. Now, now the next weekend, Hayes and I are going to Las Vegas. Um, it was for It Chapter 2. But we haven't heard any news this yet. Unless it gets announced this week, I'm going to wait to the absolute last minute that i can crossing. to buy tickets i'm hoping i think the latest i'm gonna wait is like thursday or friday i'm crossing pennywise's arms yeah because we this. really want to do chapter two yes uh i we, love saw two but yeah like not saw two but you know what i love saw as well i love saw two. that's my favorite <laughs> saw movie <laughs> but you know, i love it yeah pennywise. she's a diehard fan of it before and saw. chapter two was my favorite of the two so yeah i would absolutely love 
And the fact that we saw the fun house already and the inside of the uh, the, the restaurant, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're already excited as it was just going to that first time around. And um, we need Bat Fortune Cooking merchandise. I think I said this last podcast also. Yeah. Bat Fortune Bat Cooking Fortune merchandise. Cookie. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, that was cool to see that, especially because we just did that. And, and I, I know you and I were t- chatting about all of our friends. Like, you, if you ever go out to Vegas, you need to do it. Yes, it's worth it. I told Tim Amara that I was doing the zoomies around you. I told him I wanted to move yeah. in. The whole spill. We told Manny and Marlon <laughs> the same thing. Um, you know, we we're just telling everybody about it. It's really good. I was rocking the hat this weekend too to kind of show a little. I rocked the socks on Friday. Yeah, the socks on. So we were we were showing our love to the yes. uh, escape room. Uh, but yeah, our plan is for Sunday if we if, if it's not if chapter two is not open yet, uh, our default our backup is Saw, which is yeah. perfect because Saw tends right around the corner in September. And I'd, we did the saw experience on, 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 you know, on Saturday. Yeah. So it's perfect timing. It would actually tie in really well together. Yeah, it really would. And it would give me a little bit more pump for saw 10. So I'm super stoked for that. And um, if this comes out before Vegas, then, you know, if anybody's in Vegas, hit us up, please. Yeah. Come let hang us know. out with us. Come hang out. Um, I want to do this in Vegas too, but probably not. Yeah. We, that is the plan. One <laughs> of these trips, we're going to get her painted up while we have more time. I think right now me and you are just trying to, exit stuff out of our, our yeah this list. trip is gonna be a it's gonna be a shorter one but we still got things we got planned this trip is gonna be a short budgeted mind escape we'll call it that much yeah it's gonna be our kind of last decent vacation before season starts so it's kind of like our last kind of it's gonna so to be speak, hot. A, a breath of fresh air but it's gonna be a breath of hot air hot dry fresh air <laughs> So, Maybe we'll be like those people in the tribu- Tribal Ruby video just swimming in the fountain. <laughs> that was hilarious. Shout out Cops, if you see us out there, do not arrest us, please. Yeah, please don't. We're just, we're, we're just, we're just trying to cool off. We're just, yeah, we're just trying to get back in the water. We don't mean any harm, and I don't usually bite. I may, I, I know you love my hair long. I may have to cut it. No! For Vegas, babe. It's don't do hot. it! If I get a heat stroke with this hair, I'll save you. I, I believe that. He'll we'll save you. <laughs> Everyone this week has been calling me Wolfman. I am deeply, I know they're, they're trying making a joke, but I am deeply honored by it. That's what I, tr- <laughs> that's what I literally call this look every, uh, look every season is the Wolfman look. That's funny. And, and yeah, you've been saying it since last season. You're like, it's time to cut my hair. I'm like, no, yeah, don't no, I've do been it. I've been saying it for months now. But I like and playing yeah, with just, your hair. Yeah, it, it was nice during the panel today. <laughs> um, speaking of which, Sunday, yeah, let's kick off Sunday. So yeah, we did Hall of Shadows. We did the show floor. Then it was time to split off. Screaming Room was great. AC was nice. Sammy did um, Six Flags panel, and he did a few other panels. Oh, I missed Six Flags. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Uh, I missed <laughs> yes, it too. Yes, I will watch it on the channel. I missed it too, but some good announcements that came out of the panel. Uh, Condemned House Party will be returning for Fright Fest, Fright Fest which was uh, featured at Screen Break, which means our Margo. girl Margot Rita will be back, and she's actually the face of the fucking maze, so that's awesome. That is so cool. Congratulations um, to her. We just interviewed her on the podcast. If you guys get a chance on Mindless Horror, she's, uh, they are such a sweet, uh, sweet person, and they uh, constantly are going above and beyond to to bring this event to life. They they started in a maze. They they worked their way up to streets. Uh, they were the face of the damn event in Scream Break. I I will go on and say that for a fact. They, I, the stories they told me were unreal. Um, so I was I was so happy to see them this weekend, and I I, I hope they have a great season this year. I'm glad they're coming back as Margarita. I loved Margarita. When I walked into the convention this morning, she was interacting with the general mission crowd. I immediately looked at her. I'm like, Margo, I'm hungover. You got a cure for that? She goes, you're asking the wrong person. I'm hungover too. And I was like, yeah, I should have expected that answer. But Margo, great. We, it was great seeing you. We love you so much. I can't wait to see you at Fright Fest. I can't wait to interact with you again. I can't wait. Just, oh, my gosh. She's, they're such a great person. Yes. Um, so Six Flags announced that uh, all five of their mazes are returning. And... Conjuring 30th anniversary we got some IPs at fucking Six Flags <laughs> this is this was insane new so for those who don't know Six Flags licenses a lot of stuff from Warner Brothers which is of course the Looney Tunes that's their kind of staple for the thing the DC heroes it's usually Warner Brothers because they don't have a theme park they license right. the stuff from Six Flags it only made sense that the Conjuring got announced for Six Flags Fright Fest now this one kind of shocked me because I know Horror Nights was supposed to do it years ago but so it got excited. scrapped like super last minute I'm excited to see what Six Flags brings to life. It's going to be based around the first film. 
Okay. So I'm super stoked to see that. The first film is terrifying, too. Yes. Um, I'm hoping that if it does well, they do Conjuring 2, The Nun, Annabelle. Like, there's so much that content. That would be so awesome. You know, there's so much content yeah. to work with. Um, Those are some of my other favorites. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going there. And second <laughs> announcement, Saw X is coming to Yay. Six Flags Fright Fest this year, 30th anniversary. Hell super yeah. stoked. Uh, two brand new IPs. And that makes it eight mazes this year. Yes. For Six Flags Fright Fest. I'm super stoked for that. And that's like um, what we were asking for last year, too. We were walking around. We are like, yeah. if only there was like one or two more things to do. Boom. Yeah. Happen. Yeah. We had a great time at Fright Fest last year. We went we with did. Tim and Mar from TLEV Media. It, it, um, it kind of impressed me, to be honest. It was. I mean, we had they gave us a comp cool. buffet. Yeah, uh, their food was awesome, too. That was good food. Good food was good. Uh, some comp uh, drinks. Uh, alcoholic beverages, uh, comp drink. That was awesome. And um, we got front of the line for everything. Uh, yeah. Rides and uh, attractions or mazes. Uh, scare zones were there. Um, and we got to film. That was the first time I actually got to film inside the mazes at Six Flags. So I was thankful that they invited us out for media. Yeah. I, I'm very uh, thankful for our, our continued relationship. Um, I hope that we get to attend media night this year again. No, uh, they did the same thing for the screen break for you, for, for us, right? Yeah, we also did screen break press as well. And that's what I was talking about, the food. The food there was amazing. Yeah, they had the different mac and cheeses, I believe, yeah. which were really good. And then we got another uh, free alcoholic bedroom, so it was called, um, I think it was called uh, Spiked on the Beach or something like that. But, uh, yeah, we have the cups right there. Skull on the Beach, Skull I believe. Skull on the Beach, I believe, yeah. There's the uh, cups that we have from screen, screen break. Um, Six Flags PR team, they treat their 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 media so well i love going to six flags events i love working with six flags they are so nice so cool shout out to that guy too what was his name i have his card right here actually i don't remember but i have his name the magic oil box whore uh apothecary yes anthony was trying to spoil me before i showed up He's got good products. That spray that uh, Hayes was just holding up, it's a, uh, he makes all of his own sprays and scents and stuff. They're all horror based. This one's a carry base that we got. It's said, it's said to help you focus with energy and whatnot. So, you know, I thought it, it was appropriate that we buy it because uh, Hayes and I need a lot of focusing when it comes to uh, uh, focusing our energy towards getting things done and, yes. and, and prioritizing things. I am but, sad that we didn't get that bio exorcist though. No, he sold out. I was going to buy that for you today, too. I really was. And that was my intention. And then he fucking, he's like, I sold out yesterday. I'm like, fuck. It's so up. funny because I was thinking of the Bio Exorcist uh, stuff mainly for you and for my mom. <laughs> I was going to buy the candle for both of us. The candle smelled really good. Yeah, it's just, you know, it was a protection candle mainly. And uh, I know that I really want to do the Zach. Sorry. Got a little too excited there. I know I really want to do the Zach Bagans, uh, you know, haunted museum. Light that the night before, and then yeah, <laughs> and I know that you're not quite ready for it yet. So yeah, I was planning on going over there and getting the candle, the oil. <laughs> I was gonna set you up with like a whole little like, here you go, babe. Now we can do this. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I'm just nervous because of you know. No, I understand totally. I did talk to Mar about it though. She said that she's gone and she said it was awesome. So that's cool. Yeah, that we'll do cool. it. We're gonna do it one day. I promise you. Yeah. I don't think we'll do it this Vegas trip, but I, I no, can okay. promise I, you the yeah, next Vegas trip we probably will. It's not even in the budget for this trip, but yeah. yeah. The next one though, I guarantee you, we probably will. Yeah. Uh, That'll probably be our big thing. Yes. That sounds. I don't like know if I'm ready plan. for the VIP one just yet. We'll start with the GA one <laughs> and see how I do with that. I'm already gonna be fucking terrified as right. it is, and you know me with. I won't well, get into religion and whatnot, but you know me with that. So we should just plan it like a. Uh, what was that? Um, My chair. We should we should plan it to where we we do that and then we do something fun and like li lifting after that, like maybe yeah. like Omega Mart or something like that. Yeah, hundred percent. So I'm gonna need to get some stuff out of my head. That way, and also, like, you know, if there's anything that's following us from Zach Baggins, it's not following us to, to where we are. It's well, following I us go to, like, else. a fucking kid, and all of a sudden it starts following the kid, and then there's a fucking another movie that we're going to see five years down the line. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm know making, what I mean? I'm making new horror anthologies. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Oops. I guess that's just, uh, you know... Nightmare. Good Trying nightmare. to cause some chaos. Six Flags is a good <laughs> they good announcements though. Six Flags was good. Um oh, yeah. we Ex excited you and I, for both of those. And I'm excited to go to Six Flags in general. Yeah, thirty years, man. Yeah, they really surprised like I said, they surprised me last year. So happy it's thirty years this year. That's awesome. Yeah. 
Congratulations, Six Flags. Very, uh, yes, very well accomplished. Uh, bringing back Slider Show at Six yeah, Flags this year. Sliders. So that's fun. I heard the Slider Show is returning. Sliders of the Night, uh, the award-winning show from Six Flags. It is. It was voted the best entertainment show of Haunt out of all the Six Flags in the country. Oh wow! So I did not know that. Uh, uh, congratulations to the Sliders in the past who have yeah, put that show together and 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 keeping tricks. sliding alive. We need some yeah tricks. Uh, Green Clown, Pink Clown, Blue Clown. I know you guys were all involved in hey, it too. I met, I met the Blue Clown, right? Yes, we met yeah. all of them on uh, Friday. We ran into all of them. I did. <laughs> Maybe you weren't there. You no, know, you, you were there with us. Yeah, they were in. They were not in character. Oh, okay, well then not. We saw them on Friday in the lobby when we first got in. So well, yeah. unless you tell me who people are, most of the time I don't know who they are. Yeah, no, I, I remember. We've I remember before. Because remember Nate talked to us about yeah. Yeah, I, I do remember a, Nate. Yeah, he's like, I shout talk, out to Nate. So Nate's Nate, awesome. Nate was there. Green Clown was there. He's uh, you've met Guillermo a couple times. Have I? Yeah, you've met him a couple times. Uh, he was there though, and his brother Matt was there. His brother Matt's back, and I'm super stoked for that. Him and Matt as a duo. Oh my god. Well, the clowns so are cool. usually awesome. Yeah, they're awesome. I love those boys so much. Uh, very open arms. They welcomed us too to Six Flags. They were the them and Tricks are the reason why. Uh, we started getting a love for Six Flags. Sadly, the one year that we went, that was their last year at Six Flags, all four of them. But it's okay. They're off doing bigger and better things for their yeah. careers, and we support them wherever they go. So last year, they were uh, majority of them were all at Horror Nights. So I'm excited to see where they go this year. I don't know where they're going to go, but we'll see what happens. Um, but You know, uh, we'll go where they go. So Yeah. Perfect, go see uh, them. A perfect segue right there for Trix. Uh, she... Pitched the panel this year, and yeah. it was there. Uh, her voice in the haunt community. Uh, such a great panel. Yes. For starters, I, I think this panel was needed to uh, to uh, advocate the uh, the females in the haunt community. The females in the haunt community. Yeah, hundred percent. We got to hear the business side of things. We got to hear the haunt side of things. We got to hear the entertainment side of things, and all of their stories were very inspirational, very touching. Um, we support all these women that were on stage. Uh, we've we've bond stuff from them. We go to the events that they're at. Um, they're friends of ours too. So I haven't it, met all of them. Like, yeah, we haven't personally. met. Uh, I I have never officially met Pasta. Okay. Uh, I would like to one day. I'd like to interview her. She yeah, has shout uh, out to Pasta. We want to meet you. Yeah, Pasta. Your 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 story was <laughs> so inspirational uh, Dude, to hear that, everything that you. The done. entire panel was inspirational for yeah. me because just be like. Yes, I do all of this, but it doesn't mean that I'm not very nervous or anxious or, you know, uh, there's still a lot that I can learn. There's still a lot more I want to learn. Uh, even, you know, with people that I've known for years, sometimes there's still things that I want to ask them or, you know, communicate or, or try to get help. And, you know, I kind of stop myself because of everything that they talked about in the panel. And, you know, especially hearing Pasta just say, like, you know, take up space, like that really kind of hit me because that was a big thing for me is a lot of the time I, I don't want to take up space I don't want to you know make your day longer or harder or you have to or people try to have to explain things to me or something like that you know I from me doing what I've done a lot of it is just literally watching people at haunt or listening to people at haunt and trying to figure it out on my own yeah so you know hearing them you know all of them they just drilled it in and drilled it in and just do it ask questions you know like she said take up space you know do what you have to do to get your foot in the door or you know to to make yourself noticed and known and just like i said like a lot of your friends are so nice and just welcoming and stuff like that you know it, it really makes it inspirational for people like me that worry about not being accepted or you know not being liked or something like that it makes it a lot easier yeah I'm, I'm glad that um it makes me joyful that every time we go somewhere i can introduce you to someone else um to kind of grow that uh connection list and friendship list yeah. um and i know there's a lot of people that you really enjoy seeing that put a lot of big smiles on your face um star manny marlene tim and mar um yeah. just to name a few uh, tricks. Um, yeah, I love tricks. It's 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 so I so great. badly want to introduce so many of these of tricks these women too to my mom. Amazing girlfriend. <laughs> she is super nice to us all the time. I was, it was great to see her this weekend. And she has an awesome girlfriend also. Yeah, uh, yeah. She their 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 partnership together is so awesome. I love them both. Sorry if I wasn't um, supposed to say that. 
What? I said, sorry if I wasn't supposed to say that. I don't know how, like, out there they are. No, they're pretty well known. They're, they're, they, they, okay, they, good. they were following each other all weekend and stuff. Okay, good, Yeah, good, she's, good. she's good about mm-hmm. it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a shout out to them. I mean, every story, inspirational. I mean, tricks to, to, to you know, I know more than what she told of her story uh, because you, her and I have been talking for many years. Yeah, uh, you guys are really good friends. She's my sister. I, I always call her sis now. Um, <laughs> she's the oldest sister I wish I would have had. Uh, she's a huge inspiration. She's always so positive of energy. I don't think I've ever seen her pissed off, ever. I haven't. And if she is, she does a really good job of hiding it. But I've never seen her pissed off. She's super professional, super nice. Always goes out of her way to come say hi to us every single time, no matter what she's doing. She goes, she makes time and goes to say hi to us. Yes. Um, I love her so much, and for her to put this panel of amazing people, Mary, I've I've gotten to know Mary really well in the last year, and Tim from Knots Network. Yeah. Um, super sweet people. Super sweet people. Tim is is an absolute gentleman. Um, we were geeking out in the back during the panel about all of our camera <laughs> yeah. setups. Um, and then it was like kind of like me and Rob had like the basic camera set up. <laughs> then he had like the next intermediate one. And then the people behind us were like fucking in front beyond intermediate. I'm like, Tim, I feel yeah. I think we feel a little <laughs> under tech here. He's like, yeah, you're telling me. And he goes, I have he goes, I have a lot on mine and I still feel under tech. I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I look at you and I feel under tech and I look at them and I feel really under tech. You'll um, get there one day. But, you know, it, it was a great time. I mean, they all shared their stories and, uh, you know, even Star got to have a little spotlight. Um, Deadly, uh, Deadly Sweets got to have their spotlight. Yeah. Their story was great on a business act, uh, aspect of things. To yeah, hear was... how, how nervous they were to jump in the community, but see, to see how welcome they were to, with open, open arms to come in. And, you know, good shout out to Halloween Depot. That, that's honestly where a lot of these people, uh, specifically like Trix and, and Deadly Sweets and, and Star, they all go there. We see them all the time. Star's usually helping Trix. Trix is going around, you know, advertising, and Deadly Sweets is there selling them some delicious desserts. So, um, I was a little sad. No tricks booth also. No tricks. What? No tricks booth. Yeah. I was a little bummed, but I think she was happy with it. Cause yeah, the compromise was she got a panel. Well, a panel and she got to interact a lot more. Yeah. So that and, was cool. And you know what? I, I, I am so fucking proud of her. So proud of her. Um, I have seen her at her absolute lowest and I was there for her and she was there for me at my absolute lowest. We were at, we were at our absolute lowest at the same time and to see us come back up. Yeah. You know, from where we were in that ditch to, to finally climb out of it and, and walk away. Okay. Like, I'm so grateful that me and her started talking when we did because, like I said, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, she's a sister to me. Yeah. You know, and, and I, I, I love supporting her any way I can. And, you know, oh, yeah. we got the merch. You know, I'm rocking the fanny pack every con season. <laughs> yes, you are. Specifically with the bag policies. Like, you know, it, it's so handy and it's so good. It's comfy. I have her hat. I have a t-shirt. Can't um, wait to get those tricks sweats. I got some sign prints around here with, of her. <laughs> I have some stickers. Yeah. Uh, I, I love Trixie. I support her any way I can. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get her sweats. Uh, we're, we were talking she about shorts, a, too. Yeah, she has a sick sweater also. Yeah. It's funny, though. All the, all the merch <laughs> she came out with, it's all came out during hot season. And we were laughing. And me, her, and, and, and Hayes were laughing about that. I think one of the events. Um, but, you know, a great panel. Uh, a lot of insp- inspirational stories. And I'm very happy that we're going to have that on the Nights of Horror forever. So, uh, good job, ladies. I, 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 I already had a, a, a very deep respect for females in the honk community. It went up even more today. So um, I've, I've always advocated that we need more female sliders out there. Um, <laughs> we really do. It is like, like Pasta said and like a lot of them said up there, it is a male-dominant community, and we need more, yeah. we need more representation of, of the yeah. females out there to kind of to balance that and show them, hey, we're not just some fucking thing that, you know, you can – we want you to fucking – we want you to fear us. And, and Yeah, exactly. Like when I was at Dark Harvest, you know, I was the only female that was trying to be scary. Yeah. I you was know, the only female slider. I was the only female that wanted to slide. Yeah. So, you know. So, and, and, and Pasta, again, she's been doing it for 20 plus years. Yeah. Uh, both I hope I get to street, make it like that. Out in the streets and, and, you know, behind the scenes. Pasta's great. Yeah, that's uh, so dope. Trixie, she's been doing it for a lot of years now, too. Um, Star's been doing it for a few years. Now she's on, she's turning to the management side of things. Good for her. Uh, yeah, that's Mary, a big congratulations there. Mary covers it. Mary is scared. Mary is, does a lot of things. Mary's very talented. I'm very proud of Mary. She's one of the sweetest persons I've ever met. 
Um, I learned I, a lot about her today. I do that apologize. So cool. I did forget the, the the lady from Deadly Sweets. Um, I know we don't go to them all the time, but we have gone a few times, and and they have nothing but great stuff. And to hear their story of of how they got into it and how yeah. um, how their fiance, um, you know, brought her it, into the brought industry, her into so the to world. Speak. Yeah, the family was there to even support. That was super. Yeah, awesome that was to really see. cool. It was like almost a whole like half row row of family right yeah, there. Yeah, it was just so fucking nice to see that all weekend. You know, the support. Uh, not to mention, she fucking filled up the room. Yes. I think next year she, she does it again. She filled up the room and then some, I want to say. Like, people were standing. I feel like, yeah, that's what I was about to say. People were standing up. And there was at least five cameras in there that I counted. Five or six cameras, at least, up there. Yeah, I was going to say, I think there was a couple more than that. But, yeah, five, six. So I'm, I'm glad there. I'm glad this, this got the exposure that it deserved. Yes. I really am. Um, Sammy, on the other hand, after that, I think went to... Uh, the Lon Chaney Junior, or uh, Lon Chaney Junior, no, uh, Ron Chaney panel is about the legacy of Lon Chaney. Um, if you guys don't know who Lon Chaney or Lon Chaney Junior is, Lon Chaney Senior was the original Phantom of the Opera, um, in the original silent film, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have an ongoing joke with Phantom of the Opera. Um, and Lon Chaney Junior was the infamous Wolfman. Uh, which is one of my favorite films of all time. And I think you got a Wolfman pop today, correct, didn't you? I was going to. Oh, okay. But she wanted 35 for it. Oh. And I wanted that deal pop bad, too, so. Yeah, that, that's what it was. I, yeah, I got the deal one. Now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it was, uh, I hope those, I can't wait to rewatch that. Um, that should be fun. Uh, we ended, I know that after the tricks panel, you and I uh, split off for a little bit. Yeah, I wanted to go back down on the show floor for a little bit yeah. try to find some more stuffs. Uh, I decided to hold back and save our spot for the Horror Nights panel because, God, the minute we got out, that line was crowded. Yes, it was. From what you told me, they cut off the line. They yeah. had to. They ran out of space. People were standing in the goddamn room. Like, it was, it, this was, I think this was probably the most filled panel this weekend. There was Second a lot of people nuts. standing. Second would be nuts. Third would be 13th floor, hands down. <laughs> yeah. Um... But, yeah, it, it, uh, that HHN panel, man, I mean, where to begin? Murdy has been coming to Midsummer Stream since its, since its inception. Mm -hmm. And Scare LA as well. Always brings... Scare LA. Um, Scare LA. I mean, you remember that one. Yeah, I remember, that was I went the first place year. I ever scared. Yeah, I went there one year. It was great. Um, you know, Murdy comes out with a bang every single year. Yes, he does. Um, this year, he announced a brand new maze <laughs> that's based around the, uh, the Latin American... Um, and Scare Zone. Urban Legends and Scare Zone as well. I, I, I forget the time. This is going to be from <laughs> here until haunt season. I'm going to struggle saying the name <laughs> of this maze, and I need to memorize it now because i got to have to say it a lot more in other videos. I know I will. I, I'm not going to memorize it like right now, but like I need to start getting memorized to it. Because, yeah. yeah. Uh, we got a brand new maze announced that that was really cool. Um, and it looks, it looks fucking terrifying. It's going to be in the Parisian courtyard. courtyard. Um... It looks fucking terrifying. It looks amazing. I love it when he gets in depth about concepts and stuff. Yep, I'm so excited for I it. I can't wait for that one. It's gonna be great. That, I want to say that was my favorite scare zone last year. So uh, El Pueblo del Terre. Yes. Yeah. So they're doing a similar concept again. They're taking all these, uh, you know, uh, urban originals. urban legends, originals, if you will, and they're making again some more B horror movies that are supposed to be yeah. purposely terrible, but the concepts <laughs> of these characters look terrifying so i'm super exactly. excited to see it super excited to see it we got all the concepts for that uh we don't know uh we were told that it's going to be a very uh secretive ending and we're gonna have to go inside one of the characters uh oh, yeah. layers but they would not say what's inside said layer yeah so i'm a little nervous now we have to go in the sack into the sack as they put it <laughs> i know that sounds nasty but that's he's got a sack of bones he carries with him so that's what they're talking about we hope um, so that looks great, <laughs> but I think what stole the show today for me was Universal Monsters Unmasked. Yeah, um, definitely. announced today, coming back to Hollywood for the fifth consecutive year to do the score for this. We got a little taste of a, a track called entitled Silent Scream. Um, sounds amazing. This uh, Love Slash. We love Slash. This maze will be in the Curious George parking area uh, where Halloween was last year. And the facade is being described as like a newspaper, so it's going to be a projection. And it's going to be different newspaper clippings of each of the monsters. Because um, it's supposed to take place both in uh, Paris and London. 
So we're going to have the Phantom and the Hunchback in Paris. And specifically, I love this concept, by the way, the Catacombs of Paris. Yeah. That's going to be fucking bitching to go through. I'm so stoked I for that. I feel like you called that last year also. Or maybe I did, one of us. I think Because I remember both... last year we were talking about the Hunchback, uh, potentially... The Phantom, the I know for yeah, sure. Yeah, the Phantom, about the but I want to say we also talked about the Invisible Man. I said I would love to see a return of the Invisible Man. Yeah, and we were like, yeah. but where could we, where could they do something like that? And I think one of us said, yeah, the catacombs. Yeah, and we're like they could, they could all meet up in the catacombs. Yeah, so and like I know for Phantom and, and Hunchback, they're for sure going to. Yeah, I'm so it's so that. cool that that's yeah, yeah, that's where it's going. Meanwhile, in London, we have the Invisible Man and, and Doctor uh, Jekyll and Mister Hyde terrorizing London, so that should be a lot of fun. Mr. Hyde looks absolutely terrifying. Um, I'm so glad they are doing it. And Murdy made a good point. A lot of people are going to be like, Dr. Jackal, Mr. Hyde are not universal. You are wrong, my friend. In the early 20s, and I'm so glad he brought this up because I thought I was one of the only people that knew this. But um, if you're a horror fan, you should know this. In the early 20s, in the silent film era, and if you're a film fan, you should know this too. In the silent film era, they did make a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde movie, and it was produced by Universal. Um... So, they are going to take that concept, reimagine it, make it ten times scarier, and we got a Universal Monsters maze. Uh, we got a we got a narrator too, who sounds terribly uh, scary. She's going to be narrating the front for you to to kind of catch you up of what you're getting prepared for. Um, but another great Universal Monsters maze. I'm super stoked for this one. Uh, Phantom looks terrifying. Uh, we're going to be going down into the sewer system underneath the fucking the opera house, like where he drives the boat where his cave where he hides out at i'm super stoked for that and i'm so happy that Mer that he put that footage in there of like seeing the real live lake like underneath yeah paris yeah. because i didn't think that That's that was still real there to this day well yeah i didn't think that it was real though i thought that was all something that for they the had produced yeah that they had produced for the movie and i do you know, as me and you spoke about, I, I do love the movie. Yeah, we you know, just, I just watched it for the first time this year. that it's just the fat of the opera is here. That's our inside <laughs> joke. It's like, if you ever want to know what the name of the movie so, is, just wait about 10 minutes and yeah. they'll say it. Or, you know, 10 seconds. There's one scene where they say it like almost every fucking 10 seconds. And I'm like, I, yeah. I guess you don't even, if you're watching the first half of this movie, you don't need to know what the title is of this movie. Nope. I can walk in. My dad be like, Dad, what are you watching? <laughs> okay, cool. Yep. Have a good... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, no, but Hayes, uh, I've been telling you that I've been wanting to watch that film for so long. I've been deeply wanting to see the Broadway show. And uh, I originally wanted to see the show before I saw the movie because I was like, I think that's the right way to do it. It's The show is just so well-received in Broadway, but... Sadly, it's on hiatus right now for a long time. And I convinced you to watch the movie. So we watched the movie, and I was like, well, you know, <laughs> it's going to be on hiatus for a bit, so I might as well watch the film. We watched the film. I was actually a big fan of it. I'm a huge Gerard Butler fan. I'm a huge fan of Emmy Rosm from Shameless. So uh, to have them two as a star, and, and Patrick uh, Patrick Wilson, I think it is his name is. I'm um, horrid with names. <laughs> do, uh, Ed, Ed Warren. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, as Ralph. He's in the so <laughs> the three of them. I'm huge fans of them. They're all young in the film. Yeah, super um, young. Gerard Butler, you don't even recognize him <laughs> in the film. That's how good of an actor. I mean, Gerard. I've always said it, even with his movies today, he's still a fucking great actor. Den of Thieves was great. Three Hundred is probably his best fucking work thus far. Hundred <laughs> percent. Three Hundred is a masterpiece. Zack Snyder, bait, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a huge Snyder fan. Um, yeah, it, I can't wait for Universal Monsters. It's great. Um, I'm super stoked for that. I really am. I am too. That was one of my favorite mazes last year, aside from Scarecrow. Yeah, we got the, the Scarecrow got my all time. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Pumpkin Eater got my all time uh, high on scares last year. Like uh, I think they got me something like eight times that he, maze, uh, and I was shocked. He also <laughs> teased a couple of things that we ne never got really answers for. We got we got a character of some sort, but we didn't know what it was. It looked like an original see though right yeah we will see he he did tease a few things a concept of a character and jokingly he put do not you know remove this yeah, from slide remove but from slide i thought that was funny uh so we got some teases of things don't know for sure what they are but hopefully they'll get announced soon um we also found out that uh they had a concept for 2020 of having an actual cool prosthetic makeup look for the bride yes and they never got to fully display that because of covid so this year, the bride is going to be a Roman character walking around. So you might be able to take a photo with her. Yeah. Who knows? 
Also, it's also been rumored that Lyra Rona might be making a return this year. Roaming around as well. She's the OG that started it all. Urban Legends, uh, uh, Latin true. Urban Legends at Halloween Horror Nights. Yep. It's only fair that she's there. Um, I wonder if they'll be bringing both versions of her back. Oh, like the Stilt Walker and then yes. her, her. Even yeah. though, uh, no, that was supposed to be a version of her, correct? Yeah, it's supposed to be like a like her in her like form or whatnot. In her horse form? Yeah. Uh, whatever <laughs> Urban Legend you go based off of, pretty yes. much. There's a lot of different ones. Um, I'm excited for that, though. The, the Urban Legend maze looks great. Uh, Prison Courtyard always produces great mazes, so I'm super excited to see what that's about. Uh, Murdy just dropping banger after banger after yeah, banger. Yeah, he kind of made me excited for the Chucky to see what's going on with that, Yeah, too. he was hyping up Chucky a little bit, too. He uh, Because, to my past knowledge, when they were doing it all on the uh, escalators last year, I thought it was just going to be based around the TV show. Right. Which I haven't been able to find on any streaming service for some reason. So. I know it's on sci-fi. That's, that, that's the only much I know. Yeah, but I don't have sci-fi, so, you know. It's on USA, too. Uh, anyways, it's not coming up on my fire stick for whatever <laughs> reason. But I thought it was going to be based on the TV show, so I was a bit bummed. But hearing that it's not going to be based off the TV show, that's, you know, it kind of has my interest a little bit more now. All in all, another successful Midsummer Scream for the Nights of Horror. Yes. Um, the the fun Midsummer part this scream. year is I actually got to come home and do a podcast with my girlfriend talking about it. So that's that's something that I've Thanks, babe. never done, and I thought this was fun. I'm glad that we can do it with your makeup on. I'm glad people can see the look on camera. Yay. Uh, the, the Midsummer Scream look. It was uh, one of many this weekend. A oh, lot we of great costumes. blue lights before we end this. The blue light. Let me see. Fuck, do I have any blue lights? I might. You have the strip lights. I do. That's right. <laughs> does my blue work? Though? I don't know if my blue works. Oh, no. Let me see what does work. Oh, well. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I know, but if we have the opportunity to showcase it right here now, you know? Yeah. You know, okay, so, like, for next, for the future years, you know who I would like to see show up to Midsummer Scream? Who? I would love to see SeaWorld come out and promote Hollow Scream more. Okay. You know, um, really randomly, but I know I, I did tell you this right before Midsummer Scream this year, and I'm really sad that I didn't get to get starstruck and want to run up to somebody and not say hi, but uh, Patty Negri, I seen her last year, I believe it was... And I so badly wanted to go up and say hi, and I was just like, no, I can't. But it would be awesome to see her back at Midsummer. I don't know if I have blue, babe. Uh, no I'm worries. Sorry. It's okay. How about green? Will green work? Sometimes. Let's see if green works. <clears throat> Let's check it out. But yeah, if anybody doesn't know, also, I always try to do a secondary look. No. Oh, okay. oh well. We will try uh, next time. It still looks pretty cool ambiance-wise, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, great Midsummer Scream. I couldn't have done this weekend without you, without Sammy, without Rob. Um, every single year, uh, everyone knows who comes with us to Midsummer Scream. It's a mission. Happy it, to help. It is a mission. There's going to be frustrations. There's going to be us being sweaty and hot all day <laughs> our our bodies are going to be sore from walking me from carrying my backpack because i had so much fucking equipment in it i know you were carrying multiple bags yeah i was double bagging it your bat your body's sore i know that much um yeah, i'm pretty but good i i just uh, i i just want to take the time and, and thank my crew this entire weekend uh it, this weekend is not possible without you guys and um I thanks, am incredibly Sammy. thanks Rob. Yeah, I'm I'm incredibly thankful. I really am. I, I I'm so excited to see all the footage that everyone got together. Um, there's going to be so much to probably play with. Uh, I know Hayes was recording like crazy. <laughs> I was recording panels and I was recording show flow stuff and and Hall of Shadows like crazy. Rob was recording like crazy. Sammy took pictures and was recording. I'm pretty sure Rob took pictures too. So much to play with. Yeah. Uh, exploring attractions. We saw him. Boo Bro. It was great to see him. Shout Hotline. out to him. Hauntline, we love you, Hauntline. <laughs> Nico, Entertainment Connection, we were giving you, we were throwing you under the bus at the Horn Eyes <laughs> panel, but you were laughing at it. Nico, you need to hit me up. We need to do more stuff. I want to hang out with you more. I fucking love you. Storyteller, um, Nate. Storyteller. Uh, yeah, Storyteller and was awesome there. Girlfriend. And his awesome girlfriend. They were uh, Matricia and, and Gomez today, the Adams family. Uh, my sexy little Gomez. <laughs> um, so many great people. I mean, Dieterman was there. The, the QM Alliance, they were there. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, my buddy Jerry, my boy Jeremy was there. Um, yeah, it was it was a great weekend. 
I, uh, I, I deeply love these weekends because it's like a giant high school reunion. <laughs> uh, I am sad when they go, but it anticipates me better because it tells me that we only have one month left until haunt season. Yeah. And the countdown begins now. I'm super stoked. Oh, you know who else I wanted to... <clears throat> You know who else I wanted to meet this weekend that I that you did tell me was there and I didn't get to meet him? Who? Ed uh, Ed Cobb? Yeah. Were you not with Ed? You know he sat right next to you for, or he sat in the same row as you for uh, her voice in the haunt community. No, I didn't know that. I, I tapped him on the show. I saw him a few times. Ed's a legend. Ed Cobb. Love you, Ed. Yeah. Merrick, Hostel. Saw you guys this weekend. Love you, yeah. too. Uh, hey. Also, shout out to all the fans who came up to us this weekend. Yes, uh, it, thank you. It warms my heart. It really does to know that uh, you guys come up and you guys support the channel. Uh, I love having conversations with you. Uh, Hayes was there for a few interactions, um, and, and it was great. Uh, we met one of the contest winners who won our gold bat passes. Uh, it was mom, and she gave them to her daughters. So I thought that was fucking awesome um, that, that her is. daughters can come and experience Midsummer Scream. Um, so shout out to them. We did take a picture with them. I will be posting that on our socials of our, of our contest winner. Um, but I, I was just so, I get so nervous when I meet fans only in the sense that, um, I'm just an antisocial person unless you really get to know me, but I try my best to not show that. You and just don't want to let people down. I, yeah, I don't want to let people down. I, I, I don't want people to walk away saying that guy was an asshole. I try to be nice to everyone. I am genuinely a nice person. Um, yeah, we met a couple of your fans also in the Hall of Shadows today. Yeah, we met a few fans in the Hall of Shadows uh, throughout panels. It was awesome. So a anyone that came to, up to me, to Sammy, to Rob, to Hayes, um, we appreciate it all. Whether you liked our stuff, whether you like Hayes' stuff, whether you like Rob's stuff, whether you just love Sammy because Sammy's <laughs> tons of fun. Um, they kill it. You guys are fucking rock stars, and you guys are the reason why we constantly put up content. You guys keep tuning in every single week. You are the reason why we are currently on our way to 3,000 subscribers right now. Yeah, um, shout out to all the families that were there. Yeah, all the because, families. like, I wish that I could get my family out to an event like this. And unfortunately, they're just not with it. But, right. you know, shout out to all the families that do go together. And they, they have that, you know, not only the family bond, but the haunt family bond. Yeah, 100%. And because haunt family. Yeah, haunt family is, is, is literally my second family, so... Um, we saw Raven. Shout out to Raven. Yeah, Raven. Love Raven. He uh, came he up to me Saturday. today when I spun the wheel also. He was here today too, huh? Yeah. Nice. I didn't get to see him today, but I did see him Saturday. Got some much love to Raven. Love Raven. Always have great conversations with Raven. You got to get him um, on the podcast too. I, I deeply want to get him on the podcast. He's an OG. He is an OG, man. He's got stories galore. OG right there. Maybe we'll get him on Strange and Unusual because he knows both of us. And yeah. Be I've fun. been talking to him for a while about doing something with him actually. Yeah. yeah we'll get him. We'll talk to him. We'll see about, him. About, you know, sure. haunt, build. I want to do one in person with him, though. He's yeah, old definitely. school like that. So yeah, we, definitely. Have to, we have to respect the man. He's old school. I love him. Love you, Raven. I will reach um, out. But uh, the final thank you is to the entire team at Midsummer Scream. Yes. Uh, and I'm talking the producers, the people who put on the show. Rick West. Yeah, specifically, Rick West. I'm talking about you. We're I know so happy you the to most. see you today. I was so happy to see you today, my friend. I'm, I'm hoping you're doing okay. Yes. I uh, love you so much, man. Thank you so much for the constant opportunities. You are... Um, I can never repay you, and uh, and they're always I'm so nice when grateful. we see them. Yeah, you and uh, and Nova are super nice when we see you guys. So I, I'm I'm extremely grateful for our friendship, um, and I just thank you for giving us the opportunity. Um, but the entire Midsummer Scream, thank you guys so much for putting on one of the greatest fucking events, if not the greatest fucking event, uh, all the white bats convention uh, of all time. Uh, you guys are the Comic Con of of horror and Halloween conventions. And uh, we'll keep supporting. You keep putting them on. We'll keep supporting 100%. Um, and shout out to all the all the white bats, everyone that was involved on the show Yay. floor this weekend, um, all the help that was around the convention center that was working with Midsummer Scream. Shout out to everyone that helped put this event together. Yeah. You guys are all champions. You guys did the absolute best. Shout out to the security staff, to the Long Beach Convention Center, Long Beach itself. Um, you guys always uh, host Midsummer Beach. Scream. Yeah. <laughs> Hayes grew up in Long Beach, so it's home to her. Um but Long Beach Convention Center, you guys always host Midsummer Scream, and they always put on a great event. And so we thank Long Beach Convention Center for constantly inviting them back. I haven't heard any news about next year's dates. Usually they'll announce them pretty soon, so we got to keep up with social media so we can get uh, ready for next year's Midsummer Scream. Uh, but always I'm super ready. stoked. Always ready for Midsummer Scream. But Halloween all year. Halloween all year for sure. Let's get it there. Yeah. With all that being said, we got a busy... Uh, we got a busy next couple months coming up. We yeah. got a little bit of things going on in August. Um, I think it's just Vegas and then a lot of prep getting into uh, haunt season. Because haunt season starts early this year. Yes, it does. Uh, September 7th, 2023, I believe, is our first event. 
Which well, is we also Halloween got your birthday in August, and August we're doing 13th. some haunt and stuff. Yeah, we'll be going to uh, Mystic Museum and Icons of Darkness, which yes. is a uh, prop uh, museum and costume museum of like not only horror stuff but like sci-fi, comic book movies, action movies. Like this guy just had all this stuff, and he built a museum. So yeah. Hayes is going to take me there for my birthday. So very very thankful for that. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff coming. Uh, we'll probably do some more episodes. We got other things coming pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned very much. But uh, if nothing else more, follow us on our socials, uh, Hazmer333. That's where you'll find her at. Um, so you can keep up with all her cosplays and everything. And we're uh, at the Knights of Horror on Instagram, uh, Thread, and TikTok. At Knights of Horror on Twitter. At Knights of Horror Gaming on Kick. And subscribe to us here on YouTube. And uh, follow us wherever you're listening to this podcast, whether it's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you may be listening to the podcast. Go ahead and give us a follow and a like of this episode. And leave some comments down below. If you guys were at Midsummer Scream, what did you guys think of the event? Uh, all in all, final rating, 10 out of 10. Loved it. So, with all that being said, uh, we hope you guys have a spooky haunt season. And we will see you guys real soon for another episode. Bye. Love you guys. Go be unique.